let's see, I finally caved in and got a PlayStation Classic. Um, they were on sale yesterday. I don't know about today. That's uh, Ju July 15th, 16th. 20 bucks at Best Buy. You know, no coupons or anything needed. Um, I guess if you have Best Buy rewards, it'll be cheaper. Probably up to maybe $5 off. I don't know. Or you can use points. But, uh, yeah, wasn't a lot of rave reviews about this thing. But I figured I'd load it up with, uh, with the games that I like. So let's see what comes on it. 20 classic games and these are most of the games I remember when it launched I was in high school when this thing came out um, Battle Arena Toshin then did not like that I remember being uh, I guess I don't know that wasn't the first 3D fighting game I played um, couldn't have been it had to be Virtual Fighter 1 Cool Borders I think we did play a lot of that I think we had Destruction Derby on Demo Disc. Um, Final Fantasy VII, I actually bought that and still to this day have never completed it. I think I got caught up in the hype. Um, Grand Theft Auto, I remember buying that. I feel like that was a relatively cheap game on release. I feel like it was like 20 bucks or something like that. Maybe that was like a few months after it came out, but I remember my buddy buying that. Odd World played that on the demo disc. Um, enjoyed it. Never played Mr. Driller to this day. I think the GameCube had a like a remake or something. I never tried that. MGS. I'm curious how this is gonna handle certain parts of the game without the DualShock um, controller I, or even the memory card stuff. Um, you know the little Tom fool, foolery in the game. Jumping Jack Flash. I don't think I ever played that. It might have been on a demo disc. Um, Intelligent Cube. I think that was kind of a fun little game. That was also on one of the demo discs. If you if you haven't picked up on it, uh, this was the first era of demo disc, and I don't know if it was the last, because I don't know if PS2 era had that or not. Um, but demo discs were a thing, and you'd get like maybe four or five games playable, and then a couple of video clips to look at other games. Uh, Rayman, never got into Rayman, I've played it. Resident Evil Director's Cut, from what I understand, that this was mistakenly released, and it's like no difference between the original and the Director's Cut, something like that. I don't know, um, Revelations Persona, I don't, I don't know what that is. Is that part of the Persona series? Ridge Racer 4, Type 4. Super Puzzle Fighter, I've played it. I never really got into it too much. Wild Arms, I'm kind of excited to play that. Twisted Metal, that was another game that I played. Rainbow Six, I never really played that. Tekken 3, one of my favorite. That was probably like one of the first times where arcade fighting games, 3D fighting games, like looked, like uh, to me, identical to the arcade. Of course, uh, the background stages were static on the... Uh, PS1, you know, they were kind of uh, um, just JPEGs as opposed to the arcade. But man, a lot of people, a lot of people were pleased with this game, including me. Um, what can I say? Tekken Three, man, it's probably one of the highest selling fighting games of all time, too, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Siphon Filter, which I had an argument. Well, not an argument, a debate with my buddy Mike in high school about this being superior to this. And because both, keep in mind, both of these games came out at the same time. And I'm like, man, Siphon Filter is way better. That I don't know what's up with that Metal Gear. It's just a silly game, man. Look how he runs. I think that was the, the crux of my argument was that Snake ran weird. And, you know, you could electrocute a guy with a taser and siphon filter. I thought that was neat, man. Uh, siphon filter sucks compared to Metal Gear now. I realize that. It was a stupid argument. But, hey, I don't know. We've all had stupid arguments at some point. So, yeah, let's see what we have here. It says, uh, 
play the preloaded games, cannot download other games. Okay, yeah, we knew that. All right. And what do we have on the side here? I still haven't opened it up, so probably will maybe this morning before work. Uh, but yeah, there you have it. That's the uh, PlayStation Classic. And from what I understand, you can load uh, ISOs from a USB stick, which that that's, that's not going to look very nice, but I, I don't know. I got to look in to see other mods and stuff that's available. All right. Thanks for watching.